So I'm making this video about uh, how water flow, um, the water flow goes through a Merck Cruiser engine. So I got a 454, uh, 7.4 liter uh, Merck Cruiser. I was confused on how the water flows. So this comes in from the impeller and this goes out to what would be, what would be the water pump or the circulating pump. These two go to the risers, which are the elbows, and these two go to the exhaust. So what I was confused about is how the water actually gets out because you have a constant water flow going in. So what I wanted to show was it comes in here, but there's a port that connects this bottom to these two risers. So this is fresh water. And I found this online, which illustrates it even better um, right here. So there's a port and it's hard to see, but they are connected. So when water's coming in, the excess is blowing out, even though this is going to the engine because you have constant water flow going in the engine. And then there's bypass on the water pump that it just circulates until the thermostat opens. When the thermostat opens, you'll have water coming out the exhaust. If you ever want to check to see if your thermostat opens, either pull this hose off or just pinch it or feel it. Um, once the thermostat actually opens on the bottom, On the bottom of this, here's the thermostat. Water, the port from the engine allows the water to flow this way out of the engine, and then it has more flow actually out the exhaust and actually out to the risers. Um, there are check balls right here. I took them off so I could see them, um, but there's check balls, and don't take those off because what I was told is that um, they're there to make sure most of the water goes to the engine and now out the risers. If you take them off, you'll get, you'll get more flow or excess flow going to the risers. And when the thermostat's closed, you may starve the engine so it might, might overheat. So don't take those balls off. But the other thing I wanted to show was this, this port, this port coming in from the fresh water or from, from the impeller is not that big. Um, it's only like a half inch. So it comes in here and it splits, it goes that way, and it also comes out here. When a thermostat opens, then you have more flow coming back up through the engine, out the exhaust ports, out the risers. Hope that helps.